I will not put on that playlist then. We have Zerker! Okay. We have Zerker on the team. Holy. Okay, their mid is really, really good. We have a really good ADC, but they have a really good mid laner, so we gotta be a little bit cautious this one. Probably gotta be a full clear game. I'm gonna do it here. Full clear play for bot lane promo. Okay. Like their top auto field. They're mid? I don't know who this guy is, but he. He's really, really good, so that would be a little bit dangerous. He's gonna full clear towards my bot lane and just play for them, I think. Minions have spawned. I don't think it matters if Malphite stacks armor into Camille because of her Q. Oh, looks like he's gonna full clear down too. I'm surprised. I thought he would have started Raptors and maybe look for like an early gank or something. Wait, what? Jace is down there? The hell? <laughs> what? That's so weird. The thing is, I'm warded early, so I can't really look for like an early angle. I'm just gonna full clear, but if there's an angle after I get four, then I could look good, honestly. I was saying this last game, but as a jungler and high elo, whenever you're like a challenger, one of the biggest things that you're gonna do is always look at the lanes that you're nearby. And sometimes you'll look to skip camps just to go and help the lane. Like, let's say if it's like a free gank or free kill, but sometimes like a counter gank. I just wanna just be as like proactive as you wanna be, or as you can be, I should say. But sometimes, you know, you don't want to be overly proactive. Yeah. This. From two camps at the same time. Get an extra ability on the Grump. Jesus. We could have probably killed their deer, but Jace rotated in again. I think Jace recognizes how much of a mismatch there is in bot lane, and he's just trying his hardest to like make sure that his bot lane's gonna like win no matter what. Having this much like game awareness and map awareness is why this guy is such a god in mid lane. It's insane. How insane he's like. Control the map. I should. Should have just reset. Damn, he got to the groups like immediately. Yeah, my bad, I reset. It's 
fine. I could just steal one and back up. Hey, what? Oh, dear, took my Krugs? What? That's interesting. I let you go and you will die. It's getting like wards all over this area, so Jace can't just rotate for free perma. Oh my god, he actually got that kill. Dude, Zerker is so insanely good. Actually makes me sick to my stomach how talented this guy is. I don't know why it would make me sick, but just it's so awesome to watch. Does this knowledge happen because players are recognized? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That's part of it. It's not just always about what, like, the... Oh, wow, good job. It's just always about, like, what the player, the individual does, but, like, just overall what people do in high elo. So, like, base understanding that maybe Zerker is a little bit more of an aggressive ADC, so... Oh, that's fine if Okay takes it. as long as your dude doesn't get out of mine. And just get on my top side. Probably miss out on my the bot skittle, but it's fine. I said this is no mana, it's all good. Two camps, it's all good. Alright, let me get my bots, yes. I'm bot camps, I mean. So, uh, this guy flash ulted. Like, how, how is Zerker that good? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how is he that good? Oh, Jesus, dude. Good stuff. I have to say, we really liked out getting Zerker on the team. At the same, my favorite ADC to get, Zerker, favorite mid lane to get, Quad. I don't know who my favorite support is yet though.
All good. Say the difference in the skill between top 50 and pro players? Not much. It's like a competitive setting, I, I suppose. Like just being a, a good communicator and a good team player. But I'd say like skill-wise, top 50 and pro players are the exact same. It's like more polish, I guess. I guess that'd be a good way to put it. But sometimes there's pro players that can't even hit top 50. By the way, this was I mean? Karis Mai, who would unironically win this game. Foggy, thanks to the reset. Hell yeah, 32 reset. months of learning to int mother. I love you. Ay, ay, ay. TP'd. Yeah, I would definitely, I would definitely say and argue that I think there isn't really any difference in, in skill. It's just the polish. Other keepers comp is different skill set. Yeah, exactly. Champ pull maybe. Well, most people that are like high challenger play meta. Go find it in top 50. A lot of the players actually are pro players. Because a lot of the time, if you're that good, you're going to get scouted by a team and they're going to see, hey, can this guy work in a competitive environment? And usually you're going to get picked up by a team. And if you're not, then you're probably either A, a streamer, or B, an OTP. Maybe C, just a booster that doesn't want to play pro. Or you don't have a good enough attitude. But that's kind of like more of an anomaly. You don't really find a lot of those anymore. There's a Malphite coming. Two deer is a farm goblin. He's just eating all the farm he can. Or you're a Tarzan who can't handle a team environment. <laughs> yeah. Tarzan's definitely quite the anomaly, but still very good, you know? A little central charm. How's it going? Very hardest reason to get Challenger. I think China might be. I don't know. I wouldn't really say it's hard to get Challenger in other regions. It's more so hard to get High Challenger, I think. But sometimes it's more just about how much you play, really, and than anything else, I'd say. Maybe I sound like I'm coping, but... I think a lot of like being Challenger is like comfort. So if you're very comfortable in another region, you should be able to get Challenger. But I definitely heard that China is the hardest. Korea is definitely hard, though. Like, EU and Korea are both extremely hard to get Challenger. And you have to be insanely talented to be Challenger over there. But I think a lot of it does tie into like comfort as well. Oh, I got hit by that. Crap. No idea what this new deer is doing. He just chased me that hard. There's a new deer behind you. Get him.
Arzan would be the best jungler in NA if he calmed the fuck down. I don't really like those scenarios like, oh, this person would be this if that, or they would be this. It's either you are or you aren't, you know? You know, I, I don't really care about like would be's or could ifs or theory. I like to care about what actually is important. Like, okay, this person actually is this good. It's kind of like, it takes away from the people that are that talented, you know? Because there are people that are out there that are just as talented with this is good a mental, right? To say like, oh, this person would just wipe the floor with everybody else. I don't, I don't really agree with that at all. I think talent is one thing, but if you can't like, it's like, it's like if you take a, a young kid who's like a naturally gifted athlete, but he doesn't actually like practice as much or, or work as hard and somebody who's not as gifted, but works hard, outworks them and is better, you know, all around statistically, that person who worked harder is better, you know? I, I, I don't really agree with like, oh, what ifs, good bees. It's either you are or you aren't, and if you're not, then will be it. Because it, being able to maintain discipline and control is just as much of a skill set as being able to out-jungle and being able to like outperform. Dude, this Silas is a beast. Dude. Oh man. Are we really about to be a thousand old feet? Dude, it's been like, oh. What a grind it's been. No way we actually got a thousand old feet today, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm about to, I'm about to go crazy, bro. Nah, listen. All you challenger players, all you like high elo players, anybody who's hit a high elo peak. Hitting 1,000 OP challenger reminds me of, like the first time I hit challenger, you know? All right, we gotta focus up. I, I, I probably should've killed Jace there. Well, that's not troll. But all I'm saying is like, if I win, just know hitting 1,000 OP is just as exciting as hitting challenger, you know? Like, <laughs> uh. Say it ain't so, boys. Say it ain't so. 1,000 OP, maybe? Dude, this Tyler one plays variety guy. Just comes in with some troll message. Whatever he said, don't believe him. He does this all the time. Oh, man, dude. I'm about to go crazy. Blocked, but save it, man. Farm one camp, bro. It's one. Hey, Grudge. So I consider to be high low in NA. Me, like my personal belief. Challenger. Challenger, you're a good player. You said troll. You really was in jail. I was there. No, he wasn't, dude. 
It's Tyler one plays variety guys. Never said anything true in his life. He's just a he's just a fib. The guy's just telling lies all the time. Fudge. Dude, imagine I got that dragon seal though. Hello. It was Spica? Yeah, I beat him with Kane earlier, and then he panned it, and I played him played against him with Kha'Zix. A lot of LCS junglers, they always ban my Kane because they just do not like losing against me. Kane's pretty annoying to lose to, so I don't really, like, blame them, but it's, like... I try to avoid them. Like, I actively try to avoid them. I love playing against, like, the better the jungler when I'm on Kane, the more fun I have. But when I'm playing against a really good jungler and I'm on like Kha'Zix, bro, it's tough. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not a bad Kha'Zix. Like, that's what people think. They think I'm an OTP. It's not that I'm an OTP. It's just I'm really good at Kane and I'm only good with Kha'Zix. And like, I'm only good with like other junglers. Like, there's a difference between being able to play like a bunch of junglers at a challenger level and being able to play a bunch of junglers at a rank one level. You know what I mean? Like, I can play Kane at a rank one level. I can't play Kha'Zix or other champs like that at a rank 1 level, you know? So I would love to. Dude, zombie, zombie, you're watching, bro? Hey, buddy. Tell me, me hitting 1,000 OP doesn't make you want to queue up right now. There's 20 people that are top 1,000 OP. Or, that are above 1,000 OP. There's only 20 people in the region. Yeah, let's reset, go for it. And GA, this game is so unlosable. Twitch chat, if I lose this game, I'll get 50 subs, okay, this bro. I'll get 50 subs. Oh, no, you guys want a chance to win a free sub, type 50. KHA is definitely really good low elo, but I could imagine the fall off. Yeah, uh, it's just... I don't know. Just realized we had a Silas versus Malphite. Well, it was Silas mid versus Jace, and then they just lane swap later on. Dude, damn! I didn't start. I didn't think I'd get so excited for 1,000 OP. I thought I was only gonna get really excited at top 10. 1,000 OP though. Oh yeah! Look at that damage. Yes. Take it. Take it all. I'm proud of you, my GF. Take it up all the time. Nah, uh, dude, not the girlfriend, bro. Hey, at least if you're happy, man, hey, whatever. You're just the happy girlfriend having GM player, you know? That sounds like a happy time.
Oh my god, Camille damage. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah, bro. Oh, yes, dude. Yes. Yes, dude. Show me it!